Hey guys, Danny Jugan, Axis Football. I wanted to make a really quick informal video for you guys. I didn't have this planned out, but um, I was getting a few messages um, on socials asking about the player portraits uh, that were in the version that I just pushed this morning. So if you didn't know, I pushed a new beta version uh, to Steam for Windows PC users uh, that has very limited franchise functionality and also the inclusion of the player portraits. Um, I didn't make any post about it uh, because it was more for the handful of individuals that are working on mods. Uh, so this video is more for them, um, but also for anybody that is interested in making mods or changing up the game. I'm going to show you how the player portraits are set up so that you can adjust them um, or make your mods work with them. Um, so, let me show you. So if you go to the mods folder um, and you'll browse to it um, through Steam. Um, let me pull it up right here. So you'll go right click properties on the game and then it'll be local files and then browse local files and it'll pop up here so if you go inside of mods there'll be the addition of this player portraits folder you have to have this in here so if you're working on an older mod um, you'll need to make sure that you back up your mods folder so just take your old one and copy it to the desktop or whatever and then uninstall the game and then download this new version so you have this player portraits now inside of the player portraits folder you'll see that there are six additional folders one for each of the six skin tones in the game inside each of these folders you will see that there are 333 portraits inside of each of the folders and you can tell as we go through each of the skin tones the they get a little bit darker um, so these are the six skin tones and again each folder has 333 players um, now how you link each player to a portrait is by going into the team mods folder um, and selecting um, a particular player and you can modify it in the roster file now these are a pain in the butt to um, edit but you'll notice at the very end there is a field for the portrait and this has a value shockingly from 0 to 332 um, so this is how each player is linked up with a player portrait um, so if we scroll way over to the left and oops, scroll way over to the left and we look at the skin value notice the skin values are from 1 to 6 so the way that it works is it'll first look at the skin value and this tells the game what folder to pull the portrait from so for example if we're looking at John McCormick right here he has a skin type of 1 and if we scroll all the way over to the end his portrait is 244 so it would go into the player portraits skin tone 1 and pull out portrait 244 which would be this one right here and that would be John McCormick's um, portrait ID now obviously if you're making large-scale mods, uh, you don't want to have to edit these folder or these files directly because that would be a pain in the butt. Uh, so what I did was I created. Um, we have this Excel file, um, and one of the members of our team was kind enough to go through and update it so that we've got portrait values here. Now what we did was we just set them up um, randomly, so it's going to by default generate a random value from zero to three uh, thirty-two. And so what you're going to do is you just come in here and you change this value to match up with whatever um, specific player portrait you want. So, um, just to recap, if you don't want to use these, you want to use, um, whether it's NFL players or your friends or whatever, simply replace these files with whatever ones you want. Make sure you um, name them zero to whatever number you want to go to and make sure this value matches up with whatever um, portrait you want. So if you want Shane Falco to be um, skin tone 1, if you want him to be this guy right here, you simply put a value of 2 here. Okay. Um, now these, what's, this Excel file doesn't get read into the game and so if you want to get this actually in game, you just hit Control A to select everything, copy, and then go back into Team Mods. This is for uh, Washington and so we go into Washington's team folder and then open up their roster control A to select everything and then we control V to paste in you can copy and paste directly from the 
um, Excel file to the roster files, and the roster files are what gets read into the game, not the Excel file. So any changes you make here aren't going to matter. This is just for easier editing, uh, and you copy and paste this directly to the roster folder, and I am not going to save this. Um, and so that's basically how it works. Um, alternately, if you want to uh, make some adjustments in-game, um, let me run this. I think it'll run. I'm in the middle of coding um, franchise player progression, so I wasn't sure if it's going to run because I wasn't planning on doing this video. Um, but if you go to customize and go into our player editor, um, and for, we haven't shown this off a, a whole lot, but this is an easier way to do mods. Basically, this interfaces with the roster folder um, if you want to do that. So let's say you want to go to the Buffalo Indians and change their running backs. Um, filter by running backs. You want to change the player portrait. You click here, then you go appearance, and you can actually adjust the player portraits here to whatever you want. If you change the skin tone, it'll switch to a different skin tone. And so this is a, an in-game way to adjust the um, appearance or stats or anything that you want to do. You can change any of the values. Um, but again, if you're doing large-scale mods, you want to do the entire team or the entire league, the Excel file is probably easier just because you can do it faster. All right, so that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, and looking forward to seeing what you guys produce. Talk to you soon.